Welcome to the Training and Doctrine Command Virtual Op4 Academy. This visualization depicts insurgent hybrid threat executing the Op4 tactical task. Execute defense of a complex battle position. This visualization complements the TRADOC G2's instructional video for the complex battle position task and is designed for company level units assigned an Op4 mission during home station training. The Op4 conducts this task to protect critical Op4 personnel or capabilities from Blue 4 acquisition or destruction. By the end of this module, you should have an appreciation for the subtask execution of defending a complex battle position. The Op4 is a hybrid threat insurgent element seeking to protect a regional headquarters and IED factory from Blue 4 discovery and interference. They have established a complex battle position in a small town that lies between a rocky ridge line and a small river. Over the past year, the Op4 have expended a significant engineer effort to build cover and concealed fighting positions, underground shelters, and tunnels. They have also established safe houses and caches to support operations. The insurgents have eight multifunctional direct action cells equipped with small arms. RPGs, and IEDs organized into action and disruption elements, and the reserve. Additional enabling elements consist of rocket and mortar cells, a VBIED, affiliated SPF elements armed with SA-24s, an Avia Conversia jammer, and logistics cell. The local population is supportive and includes some willing recruits. The Blue 4 is a striker company that has a human intelligence report from a nearby village of insurgent leadership cell and IED factory somewhere in the small town. We'll join the insurgent group leaders reviewing their defense of the complex battle position. The Blue Four in our sector are unusually aggressive and have attacked our locations whenever they are found. Let's review our defensive concept with respect to the Blue Four most dangerous course of action. I expect the Blue Four to approach from three sides, the main axis from the northeast, a secondary ground axis from the south, and an air landing to the west. They will have at least one UAS in support. To defend our protected assets, we have a battle zone, four disruption zones, and two support zones. This dispersion and the jammer will disrupt the effects of Blue Four precision fires. I want each of you to backbrief your positions and responsibilities. We'll start with the action elements in the battle position. I have four direct action cells in concealed simple battle positions oriented to the north, the east, the southeast, and the southwest. Firing positions are located at ground level and the upper floors. We have two kill zones with IEDs and planned fires targets. One willing recruit provides early warning of Blue 4 approaching from the southeast. Good. Disrupt East Leader, you are next. We also have a willing recruit to provide early warning. I have one direct action cell in a combat security outpost covering the kill zone on the main attack axis and another cell in a supporting position. I have an unoccupied ambush position in the north. The tunnel allows me to move teams to the north side of the road without exposing them. Okay, Disrupt East has priority of fires. Disrupt South Leader, can you block the bridge? Yes, I have two willing recruits that will provide early warning of Blue 4 in the south. The IED will destroy the lead vehicle blocking the bridge. My direct action cell is armed with an RPG-29 and two RPG-7Vs. I also have a supplementary ambush position prepared in case something makes it across the bridge or penetrates disruption zone east. Good. Disrupt West Leader, what about the LZ? We have checked and all anti-helicopter mines are still armed. The anti-personnel mines are also ready. My SPF element has an SA-24, two RPG-7s, and a PKM machine gun in the ambush position. We have a supplementary ambush position covering the fields farther west, and also control an IED on the minor road that follows the river to the southwest. One willing recruit provides early warning in that direction. A second Blue 4 UAS is a good indicator of an air landing. Deception leader, you are responsible for the center disruption zone. 
My SPF element is positioned in a school and prepared to emulate a deception command post. The jammer is also ready. When they alert to our position, we have four IEDs waiting for them. Engage the jammer as soon as we make indirect or direct fire contact with the blue four. Increase C2 signature once the blue four enter the disruption zones. In the northern support zone, the rocket cell will be positioned on the ridge overlooking the town, and the reserve direct action cell will be in an underground shelter near me. I will remain mobile on my motorcycle so that I can move quickly between positions. The logistics cell maintains two surgeries, one in each safe house. The 82 millimeter mortar cell operates from multiple firing positions in the southwestern support zone. If the blue four break through our disruption zones toward the battle zone, the protected assets will exfiltrate in a safe direction. To cover their movement, we'll attack and fix the blue four. The vehicle-borne IED will be useful for this action. The reserve will also be prepared to attack the blue four where needed. After the regional C2 cell and IED factory components are safe, I will determine if we continue to fight the Blue Four or withdraw to preserve combat power. The commander's decision to withdraw is based upon the mission to protect the regional C2 cell and IED factory, and then an assessment of the ability to defeat the Blue Four threat. Once the complex battle position is occupied, the hybrid insurgent group continuously maintains passive, 360 degree security while improving the cover, concealment, and camouflage of defensive positions. Care is taken to ensure that all activities blend with the local population. Try to count all of the vehicles. Commander, Blue Four vehicles are approaching from the northeast. There are more than six. Understood. Disrupt South Leader texted me that a Blue Four platoon is approaching from the south. Alert! All elements! A Blue Four UAS is flying over us! Roger. All elements come to full readiness. I need a specific location for the UAS. We must assess their intent. Commander, this is the Battle Zone Leader. We see the UAS flying south, just east of the school. It is one of the small ones. This is Disrupt South. Blue Four are positioning vehicles to overwatch the south bridge. This is Disrupt East. Four Blue Four vehicles have stopped short of the town, dismounted infantry, and are advancing deliberately. At least four other vehicles are moving across the field on the south side of the road. Okay, the Blue Four appears to be setting a cordon. This is close to our worst case. All elements, be on the lookout for helicopters. Battle Zone Leader, alert the regional C2 and IED cells to be ready to exfiltrate. Break. Deception Leader, turn on the jammer and increase simulated command traffic. Let's see if we can mislead them. Commander, this is Disrupt East. They're in the kill zone. Engaging now. Rocket cell, support disrupt east. Mortar cell, support disrupt south. Commander, we destroyed two lead vehicles and hit at least two of their soldiers. They are moving to flank our position to the south. Their heavy mortar fire is ineffective. Our jammer is working. Good. Once they adjust their mortars, bound back and draw them toward the deception position. Disrupt South Leader. Sit rep. Over. Commander, this is Disrupt South. Blue Force still in overwatch positions. No attempt to cross the bridge. I am engaging them with mortars. Disrupt South. Take whatever action you need to block that bridge. We don't need any more Blue Four on this side. a striker on the bridge, but we are receiving effective fire. We are now displacing to supplementary positions. Keep them contained. Disrupt West Leader, do you see any Blue Four? Commander, no contact with Blue Four ground or helicopter elements. 
The SA-24 gunner is ready for Blue 4 fixed wing aircraft. Battle zone leader, Blue 4 are pressing from two directions. Exfiltrate the regional C-2 cell and IED factory. Roger. The C-2 cell is moving to the tunnel entrance, and the IED cell is arming the V-bed for remote detonation. Commander, this is Disrupt East. Two strikers and dismounted infantry have taken the CSOP and are engaging my withdrawal team. My stay-behind team has made it through the tunnel and are now at the Blue 4 rear. Another Blue 4 platoon has maneuvered south and is effectively suppressing the eastern security position. They must reposition, which will likely place Blue 4 in contact with the battle zone. We'll exfiltrate the protected assets before the battle zone elements are decisively engaged. Disrupt East, position the V-bed to disrupt the Blue 4 attack and maneuver your eastern security position toward the battle zone. Commander, Wilco. I'm employing mortar smoke to screen V-bed movement. Battle zone leader, exfiltrate the regional C2 cell to the northern safe house. The IED factory should move to the southwest safe house. I am moving to check the tunnel exit. Commander, executing now. The regional C2 cell is in the tunnel. The IED factory components are almost loaded. Commander, the Blue 4 UAS has spotted us, and now we are taking ineffective mortar fires. The jammer is working. Good. Inaccurate Blue 4 fire should limit their employment. Disrupt West Leader. Keep the SA-24 ready in case Blue 4 air attacks the rocket cell. All elements, protected assets are moving. Execute covering actions. Commander, this is Battle Zone Leader. The V-Bed is positioned at Eastern Seesaw and handed over to Disrupt East. Battle Zone cells are ready. Commander, this is Disrupt East. Blue 4 are clearing the Eastern Seesaw and maneuvering infantry toward the Battle Zone. We are detonating the V-Bed. My stay-behind element will attack the Blue 4 team, securing their disabled vehicle. These actions should slow the Blue 4 advance. Commander, this is Disrupt South. Blue 4 are now pushing the destroyed striker off the bridge. Rocket cell, shift fires to the south bridge. Shift fires to the southern bridge. All elements, regional C2 node is moving to the northern support zone safe house. Commander, this is Disrupt East. Blue 4 infantry have destroyed my eastern CSOP cell that was moving toward the battle zone. At least one striker was destroyed by the V-bed. Get your stay-behind cell into action. Commander, this is Disrupt East. The stay-behind element is attacking the Blue 4 at the CSOP on the primary road. I've lost contact with them. Disrupt East Leader, maintain contact with the Blue 4 and track their movements. Reserve Cell Leader, reinforce Disrupt East Leader's effort to contain Blue 4. Do not allow them to influence the protected assets. Commander, this is Battle Zone Leader. We are attacking a striker vehicle in our north kill zone with RPG-29s, IEDs, and rocket fire. Commander, this is Disrupt South. Another striker has crossed the bridge, engaging with IED and machine guns. We can't hold- Disrupt South! Disrupt South! This is Commander, over! Rocket and mortar cells, I need immediate suppression on the north side of the bridge. The protected elements are safe. However, we have suffered too many casualties and cannot defeat the Blue 4 element. We need to withdraw. I want two direct action cells in the battle zone, the reserve cell, and the Disrupt West SA-24 element to remain in contact and cover the insurgent cell's withdrawal. Rockets and mortars provide fire support. The remainder of the battle zone cells will exfiltrate to the south. As you depart, conceal caches and underground shelter entrances for later use. Hide IEDs if possible. Deception leader, exfiltrate north and leave the jammer in place. Arm the IEDs for victim-operated detonation. Commander, understood. We are sending the last deception transmission now. Commander, firing final rocket and mortar salvo now. 
Once we break contact, we will hide with civilians in the battle zone. The other two cells are exfiltrating south. All elements, I am moving to my hide position. After caching weapons, disperse throughout the urban area to hide amongst the population. Keep track of Blue 4 activities. We must be prepared to conduct individual attacks to continue to attrit them. The Op 4 have successfully protected the designated assets. Through deception and the dispersion of disruption and support elements in the urban environment, they have also denied Blue 4 seizure of the complex battle position. Whenever possible, the Op 4 maximizes cultural standoff to offset Blue 4 combat power advantages. It is critical that Op 4 perform continuous reconnaissance and surveillance to inform future operations. You have just viewed the execution of the Op 4 task, Execute Defense of a Complex Battle Position. The subtask actions apply to both the regular and irregular elements of the hybrid threat. The Op 4 task outline and TC-7100 series references are available on the Army Training Network web portal. Questions may be directed to the TRADOC G2 Ace Threats Integration Directorate at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, the Army's responsible official for hybrid threat tactical doctrine. Good luck in your training. Be aggressive and adapt quickly.